Hello everyone, Swanee and Cookie here to bring you up to date on the latest Helldivers 2 news. And before we get started, I just wanted to point out that if I sound a little raspy, it's because I'm currently pretty sick, so I apologize in advance for that. But Cookie, why don't you start us off with how we're doing on the latest Major Order? On the latest Major Order, we're just simply trying to keep Menkent and Lasath under Super Earth Control until the Major Order expires. And as of right now, neither one is under Super Earth Control. Menkent is at about 70%, Lasath is about 25%. It definitely looks like Menkent is not far from being under Super Earth Control. The Sath obviously further away, but if there isn't a counterattack, which I kind of expect that there will be at some point during this major order, we'll definitely complete it. And even with a counterattack, odds are still good. And frankly, we desperately need to do this because after failing the last couple major orders, we really need to hold the automatons back before they're on Super Earth's doorstep. So we'll see. It's it's a start, but we're into the weekend now, so I think that'll increase it a lot too. Yeah, I, I definitely think we'll get this one done. And with the previous major orders, I didn't really care as much because I was pretty high with the level and I had like the max amount of medals. But since they released this latest war bond, I'm kind of hurting on medals again. So now I'm like, come on guys, let's get this major order. I need those medals. So I I'm rooting for us. I hope we can get this one done because the last couple, like you said, we didn't exactly complete those in time. Well, the last one wasn't even close. We were like <laughs> way off. I think I don't. Yeah. I think we might have got three of the five planets done. But yeah, and like I said, if they take this one too, the entire script has been flipped and they're practically at super for earth <laughs> and now we have a complete opposite scenario and it's only been like a week hasn't it since we took out the automatons so yeah this is flipping pretty quickly i mean i kind of hope they do get to super earth because then we might get to defend super earth and i want to see what super earth looks like so yeah that does make it a little odd with motivation because i kind of want the fight on super earth at <laughs> kind of rooting time, for them so. now i'm yeah, kind of rooting for the I bad guys just so i can see them get new upgrades <laughs> which is not what we're supposed to be rooting for yeah we're, we're probably overthinking it more than the developers want us to at this point <laughs> where we're getting that deep into it but i don't know if the general player base is thinking that far or not i doubt that that's a motivation as to why we're not doing as well but you know, i mean you never know people might not be as incentivized to go after it i guess so what about the uh, personal order cookie personal order today is just to kill four chargers get your 15 medals from that should be pretty easy i mean chargers are a pain the odd thing about this is that they're actually encouraging us to fight the bugs as well as the robots at the same time which doesn't happen that often. I don't remember too many personal orders and major orders taking us to different fronts. Yeah, so that part's kind of interesting, but as far as actually completing it, you know, it should yeah, you be able to do it in one match. Yeah, easily in one match. The Superstore has also been updated. They now have the CM17 Butcher Armor in there, as well as the CE67 Titan. I know Super Credits are a little hard to come by, since people probably have just used them on the new War Bond, but either way, those are there if you are interested. Alright, so next up, on the Discord side of things, we had one of the community managers post this yesterday. They said, we have added a hashtag player polls channel to gather feedback from everyone. There are two polls already available so be sure to vote in them how democratic now these polls are already over but uh they got a lot of votes they got 58,000 votes and 56,000 votes which is pretty crazy for you know just two discord polls but it is pretty cool to see that they're like the developers are interested in player feedback so why don't you go over these polls cookie first one says what do you think about marksman rifles in helldivers 2 the winner by a landslide was that they need a rebalance because they're underpowered. The only other one that got even relatively substantial votes is I wouldn't know because I never use them. <laughs> so very clearly, basically they the want thing. that changed. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. And literally says 0% thought they were overpowered, even though you can tell it has some votes, but that's so small, it's closer to zero. So yeah, people clearly want a change with the marksman rifles, and I'm in total agreement with them because they stink. They could be really, really useful, but they're pretty much useless. Yeah, there's just so many other better primary weapons that there's like no reason to ever use the marksman rifles, especially when you have something like the Dominator or the Scorcher. They do basically the same thing as like, I mean, they act like marksman rifles. They're so accurate at mid to far range. It's like, why on earth would you ever pick a marksman rifle? Now, I'm not saying like, I do like the, the Diligence uh, Counter Sniper. I mean, it's not nearly as good as some of the other weapons. So I, I definitely agree. Like I said, it's a good thing to see that they're asking the 
players for feedback, but this is also kind of a double-edged sword, because if they ask the player base, like, hey, do you want this weapon to be buffed? It doesn't matter what weapon it is, the player base is always going to be like, yeah, I want, you know, I want more buffs. Very rarely yeah. are they going to be like, no, the weapon's fine, I, I want it to stay as is. Like, it's always buff or nothing when it comes to the to the player base, so. Yeah, I think that it's very unlikely people are going to find something to be overpowered. Maybe that'll happen. I mean, I guess people might say that if it's so overpowered, they're literally just winning way too easily. You might get some honesty, but yeah, in general, people are going to want things to be buffed. They're not going to want things nerfed, so it's going to be tough. They got to be careful what they ask for in these polls, I guess. The other poll said, how do you feel about the new Democratic Detonation War Bond? This one was a little bit more competitive, but still winning by quite a lot was it's good, but I feel like something is missing. The second highest, uh, the other, only other option that got a lot of votes was I love it, just straight up, which was 27%. 68% though said it's good, but I feel like something's missing. This is kind of interesting. Kind of shows that people are looking for a little something more. Like, it's nice, it's good to have that stuff, but it could be better. And uh, I don't know if I'm surprised by that. I'm surprised it won by as much as it did, I guess. I'm not entirely sure what that extra thing is. I know even on the news update I just did that I said that there should be more emotes instead of just victory poses included in the war bond you know stuff kind of like that and maybe there should be more than three levels to it there's just a lot of different options they could have and clearly the community seems to kind of think that as well yeah i mean i agree with you i think we need more emotes i honestly could care less about the victory pose because like by the time we get to the victories like i'm already looking at my stats anyway i i don't care about the victory pose like as soon as we get on the shuttle that's when i start looking at my phone or i go to the bathroom i'm like okay i finally get a break i was just in a 45 minute match it's time to chill for a second like i don't even notice the victory poses that much but the emotes like that's fun you get to interact with your friends you get to goof off i honestly hope that they add like an emote wheel so we can have multiple emotes at some point but yeah they keep adding these victory poses and we never get any new emotes it's it's odd and i do feel like they need to add a little bit something extra maybe like a, another tier of like another page to the war bond like another weapon and another like a whole nother section to it because yeah, I kind of agree with them here. It, it does feel like you can play it. You can get it done in a couple days if you have your medals saved up like I do. Like, I literally beat, like, unlocked every single weapon in one day, less than one day. And, you know, we made a whole month, and I, I don't know. I, I feel like it, 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 it is missing something. Yeah, I also kind of feel like, not necessarily with the weapons, cause I think the weapons that we've gotten in the last couple war bonds are pretty unique from each other. They, they do different things. But the armors are all kind of similar. And I still feel like they could get a little more creative with some of their armors that they add to the war bonds that they could have big differences from one another because like some of them still have very similar color schemes to other ones i think they could get a little bit more wild with that is also a sh slight criticism i'd have but at the same time i do feel like it's a little hard to be too rough on this because you can still get this without having to pay real money which in today's game environment is crazy mm -hmm. <laughs> because extra content yeah, I'm, does like not, not come at all without complaining. Extra money. i don't want people to be like oh sorry just whining because he, he wants more stuff like no i'm i'm fine with what, what we got i'm just saying It'd be nice to see something a little extra, and I, I want more hoods. That's the thing that we don't have. There's only, like, one helmet in the game that has a hood. I want more hood options. You know, I, I want to be able to mix and match and choose different outfits, and I want my outfits to look cooler. Yeah, and in general, I'd like them to stop adding medium armor. Nobody needs more medium armor. Oh, there's so like... much medium armor. There's almost no heavy or light armor, but there's a crap ton of medium armor. So they could totally stop doing medium armor for like multiple war bonds just to let light and heavy armor catch up. So I, that would also be a slight criticism I'd have. And this actually kind of segues nicely into our next topic, which is that the CEO tweeted about something about this. So there was a tweet by Helldivers Alerts talking about how Arrowhead could make armor more diverse to create different classes. And then someone commented on that saying, or we just have a transmog system that way people can run whatever they like cosmetically the ceo responded to that reply saying we are not doing transmog it doesn't make sense the equipment looks different because it has different effects swapping one for the other is like having an apple that tastes like bacon or the other way around which frankly brings up a very interesting conversation because this has been a talking point in a lot of different games especially rpgs where people want to look really really cool but they don't necessarily want the stats of that armor so they'll apply the stats to 
the coolest armor that they have as far as looks are concerned. According to the CEO, he seems pretty adamantly against that. And that's unfortunate because I both agree and disagree. I think that, let's say, all the heavy armor. I feel like you should be able to choose whatever heavy armor you want and then pick what ability or what stats comes with that heavy armor. I don't feel like you should have light armor that looks like heavy armor. I agree with him in that sense, but you should be able to pick whatever light armor you want and then pick whatever abilities come with that light armor. Because currently, right now, you have to choose either do you want to look cool or do you want the armor that gives you the best stats for the mission type. And if you pick the best stats that you don't always look the way that you want, which definitely sucks. Like, I don't want to have a, an armor set that has extra grenades, but I feel like it's a really ugly armor set. So I want to see some form of transmog, but I don't want it to be crazy over the top. So what you want is for the effects to be interchangeable, but not the effects of just basic heavy armor, basic light armor, as far as speed and ability to take hits is concerned, but you want the effects to be interchangeable. Yeah, like I don't want heavy armor to be able to run super fast. That doesn't make sense. Or, you know, light armor to take a ton of damage. But I want the light armor to be able to pick and choose between all of the light armor abilities, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think that should definitely be a thing. I don't know if in this tweet he's talking just about the idea of what I'm saying, like a heavy armor that lets you run fast or vice versa, or if he's being like, no, I don't want any transmog of any kind, because he might just be talking about, like, I don't want a heavy armor that runs fast. It, it, he doesn't get that specific about it, mm -hmm. but... If we're assuming he means overall nothing interchangeable, yeah, I think that it would be a big miss because I, I don't think it matters as far as the individual effects to be able to interchange them. I don't think that hurts any of the lore or anything like that. And I don't think it hurt, and I definitely don't see the idea of it, an apple tasting like bacon as far as the effects are concerned. If it was put that way, what you would have is like, here's the light armor that I think looks cool, here's the medium armor I think looks cool, and here's the heavy armor that I think looks cool. And then you can just interchange between those three depending on how you want to play if you could change the effects however you wanted i think that would be a good compromise to the situation I, I hope that's something they consider i mean the tweet itself was based on a reddit post by the pengu who kind of has this little diagram of nine different armors and what their armors effects could be if they added more effects overall which i also think is a really good idea and if they took all the armor effects and let them be interchangeable and you could kind of assign them as you go i, I don't see why that wouldn't work out i guess yeah i definitely think that some of these armor sets need more I guess individuality like right now a lot of the armor sets play the same way as other armor sets and I would love to have like right now there's no reason to pick a specific armor set because there's no like added bonuses like the uh, the big fortified commando right now it literally just has like extra padding I'd like to see this example that they give you know 20% less damage from projectiles or 50% ex resistance to explosive damage or the SA-32 uh, dynamo uh, reloading is 25% faster if they had perks like that, that would definitely make the armor sets a lot more interesting to use. And you could build entire loadouts based off of the armor sets. Yeah, even in this little diagram, though, it also shows part of the problem that the CEO is talking about. Because even if you did set it up like this, like take the CM21 Trench Paramedic, its perks would be increasing stims by two and then stims duration last plus two seconds. Those are both very paramedic kind of effects. So like if you threw those onto, I don't know, the TR-62 Knight, the way this is set up has these effects actually fit the armor that they're going on to. So this is kind of what the CEO doesn't want, even though currently in the game these effects aren't set up this way in the first place. Just to say, I understand both sides of the argument, but I still feel like it would be better off just being able to interchange effects, maybe even game by game, like their stratagems. I don't know if we want to go that far, but... Mm -hmm. That could also be an Either way, too. the point is they need to do something different with the armor. That, that's basically what it comes down to. I think almost anybody can agree on that. They, they need more variation with the armor effects. Yeah, hopefully down the road they add more just in general customization, like to the weapons, the armor, to the ship. Just more customization in general. It's always, always a good thing to see. But uh, that's going to do it for everything in today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, then please consider hitting the thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated and helps us out in the algorithm. If you're new here, uh, consider hitting the thumbs up hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell for notifications. That way you don't miss out on any future Helldivers 2 videos. And that is going to do it for us. And we'll talk to you all next time. So bye-bye. Bye-bye.